hey guys welcome back to my channel for another 30 inks 30 days look at all that shimmer it's a shimmering today um if this ink has so much shimmer in it it's intense like look i'm like shaking the bottle and it's still just like clumped so as i agitate this this is another yunjing tang ink called wild pear in snow and this ink probably has a bit too much shimmer to me i am swatching it but i'm actually purposefully not using it because i I think I want to give it to a pen friend whose favorite color is green because green ink, green shimmer, it screams kind of green happiness. So that's what I'm thinking of doing, but it's the only W ink I have. So it is helping us out today. Let's get the syringe in there before it all goes to the bottom. Look, I'm really not sure if that's coming across on the camera, but you can actually see the shimmer pooling just in that um, droplet there, which is pretty cool. That's one thing I found with um, using the syringe and this to swatch is if I leave the droplet too long on the page, let's say I'm talking or getting something ready, once you swatch that, there's almost like a mini circle in the middle where some of the shimmer has already um, fallen to the bottom. It hasn't happened here, but it has happened a couple of times. It's not enough to kind of take me away from this swatching method, but definitely something to be aware of. And as it dries, like that is just a bright, punchy green. Um, there's something just happy about it. I don't know what pears look like in the snow, but if that's what they look like, that's pretty beautiful. And you can just see it's basically all shimmer in there. It's like a really light, pale green shimmer. Um, and it's, I don't know if it's like finer, but it's like there's lots of shimmer, but they almost seem to be like smaller particles. Let's have a look in the writing sample. What I'll do is I'll write this one and then I'll agitate it when we do it with our, for the word uh the name of the ink so this is moon this is another ink that really glides under the nib like it just feels really like smooth not heavy or draggy or thick or anything at all it is very bright and light so it's one that i think i would have trouble writing a whole page in, but some people really love journaling in these bright colors. Just not for me. I find it quite hard to read. Um, you are getting bits of the shimmer in there, but it's subtle, which I do like, but you can see they're just full of shimmer. Hopefully it's catching the light. All right. Agitated it again. So now I can write the rest of it with this medium nib. have a go does anyone who watched like live in like the proper snow like has like we have snow here but like not in metro melbourne at all wow it's just wild here in snow but i see some like photos or images from other like pen like fountain of pen youtubers and instagram people and they like post these videos and photos of like full-on snow storms outside there how have i just done a spelling mistake w no thank god um outside their homes and it's crazy it looks so intense so our world word for today is wellaful I definitely, I think, I find it easier to read with the median nib, but also when the writing's a bit bigger, that chunky droplet of goodness there. This word means blessed. So it means blessed, well off. Well, I can't read my own writing. Lucky? 
having prosperity or happiness. See, you're getting some nice shading there as well, but it's just too light for me to read. Um, I definitely, I keep trying to get myself into brighter inks, but uh, I just think writing a whole page of that will just hurt my eyes by the end of it. Um, so I'm still, I guess, on the lookout for like somewhat of a, of a middle ground. But let me bring that up there. Like, look where it's pulled. It is just jam packed with shimmer. But can you see what I mean by it? it almost looks like finer? And that's the writing sample. It is quite legible, but the, the bits where it shades like that to me is just a bit too light. All right, you know the drill by now. I'll wait for this to dry and then we will go over and do our monthly swatch. While the swatch was drying, I was kind of like saying to myself, trying to remind myself that it is. Oh, the, all the shimmer is settled in there, so I'm not sure if we're going to get any in there.